An increase in crime and a decrease in police presence at the University of California Berkeley campus has parents taking school security into their own hands now. This story is just remarkable. The organization is called Safe Bears and it was created by concerned parents. The group raised $40,000 to hire six private security guards to patrol an area near campus where parents say a higher number of crimes are committed against college students. And joining me now is one of the founders of Safe Bears, Sagar Jatani. Sagar, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Appreciate it. Good morning. My team and I were talking about this story this week, and it just struck us. Correct me if I'm wrong, but UC Berkeley was rated the third most dangerous college campus in America. I mean, how dangerous are we talking here? You know, what's unfortunate, Marky, is that since that stat was published, it's actually moved up one. So now it's the second most dangerous college campus in America. And so it, what kind of crimes are you seeing? I mean, what are we talking about here? And, and what does that mean for your kids? Yeah, well, we regularly hear about violent attacks against students, including sexual assaults, armed robberies, carjackings, and dangerous intruders entering the housing units where students live. I mean, imagine that. Students have had to barricade themselves inside the doors while dangerous intruders stalk outside those doors. So as a parent, I've got two kids at UC Berkeley. It does fill you with a lot of concern for their well-being. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, what was it for what you as a dad, dad that the, that the straw that broke the camel's back where you said, you know what, I guess it's up to me and other parents now to raise money and get security there for our children? Yeah, well, you know, for me, it was about a month after I dropped my kids off for school. Uh, you know, you think when you get your kids into a great school like Berkeley, mission accomplished, right? My job is done to some extent. Yes. But what happens next sometimes comes as a shock, especially if your kids are at UC Berkeley. So one month after my kids began, there was a gun battle right outside their dorms mm. and somebody was killed. Mm. Now, after that happened, I joined a group of parents who met with the administration to learn more about what kind of measures they have in place to keep our kids safe. And frankly, what we heard was really disappointing. It was a lot of excuses. We didn't hear much by way of solutions. So as parents, we kept on talking. And ultimately, we decided to form a nonprofit called Safe Bears, as you mentioned. And our mission is to push for more safety measures in and around the university. Yeah, yeah. You know, you brought up a good point uh, that you think everything is going to be A-OK -okay when your child gets into UC Berkeley. My father-in-law went to UC Berkeley. I've always only heard good stories about it. You know, you feel like everything's sunny in California. Apparently not the case. What's been the reaction to Safe Bears? And now do you have other parents saying, hey, I'll chip in, too? Yeah, the reaction has been pretty overwhelming. I think we hit a nerve. We've grown over the past year to over 1,200 members, and those folks are located in over 80 countries around the world, which really testifies to just how global of a brand UC Berkeley is. And we've heard from alumni, from professors, from retired uh, campus police officers, from students, who all want to get involved and help us make the campus safer. Ultimately, we all love UC Berkeley. We just wish it wasn't quite so dangerous. Yeah, you need your kids uh, to, to be safe, walk into the classroom. I understand the guards and the ambassadors don't carry weapons. Uh, they can't go into to campus buildings. What do you hope to achieve just with their presence there? And, and what can they actually do? Yeah, you're quite right. They are not carrying mace, batons, cuffs, anything like that. And they are also not stepping foot on university property, as you say. And the reason for that is because we want to be clear that uh, there is a campus police presence, UCPD, and their jurisdiction is the campus and its properties. We are patrolling on the public streets and sidewalks around campus, which is where most of the students live. Mm -hmm. uh, the response, I think, has been pretty positive. You know, the university right now, the members of the community are pretty rattled because of all this violent crime. There was a shooting on campus just a couple of weeks ago. A guy walked into the middle of a crowded plaza on a Friday night, fired off nine rounds of a gun. Now, miraculously, nobody was hurt or killed, but it took the university 40 minutes to send an emergency notification wow. out. Wow. to say something was going on. And that's clearly unacceptable. So we've seen a lot of positive response to what we're doing now in terms yeah. of what we try to achieve here there's two things one is we believe these security guards are immediately 
increasing safety for the students living in this area. And second, we're frankly trying to draw a lot more attention to the problem here in the hopes that the administration will start taking it more seriously. Yeah, things need to change. I, I know you're proud of the program, but I know you're also deeply saddened it had to come to this for you and uh, the other parents. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.